Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, January 11th, 2017 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today we'll start, of course, with Microsoft's Patch Tuesday, and we actually can cover every vulnerability today in detail because there were only three vulnerabilities and three bulletins to go with it this month. This is actually a little bit typical for January. I post a little graph. In January, we usually only have sort of four or five uh, different bulletins being published, probably because of the holidays. Microsoft just didn't have the time to really come up with with any more patches. The first bulletin for the year fixes a privilege escalation vulnerability in Microsoft's Edge browser. It deals with cross domain policies and how they're dealt with with the about plank pages. So just the privilege escalation vulnerability, nothing critical. Microsoft and we as well rate it as important. However, the vulnerability had already been disclosed. This month, no update for Internet Explorer, so only this one for Microsoft Edge. The second bulletin fixes a vulnerability in Microsoft Office, a memory corruption vulnerability that can lead to code execution. Microsoft rates it as important because the user has to open a document. We rate code execution vulnerabilities like this as critical, at least for clients. Nothing publicly disclosed or exploited about this vulnerability so far. Now then the numbering gets a little bit tricky. The third Microsoft bulletin was actually MS-14.4. That one addresses a denial of service vulnerability in the LSAS, the local security Author authority subsystem service. That one is again rated as important. It's only a denial of service. The the third bulletin in Microsoft's numbering is actually the Adobe Flash Player bulletin. And uh, that, of course, also affects uh, Microsoft's browsers like in Explorer 10, 11, and Edge. Now, Adobe fixed a total of 13 vulnerabilities in its Flash update. They can lead to remote code execution. And I would actually rate that update as the number one, the most important update to apply this time around. Adobe also updated a PDF reader bulletin that they released earlier this month, and that one fixes 29 vulnerabilities. Again, they also can lead to code execution. So short summary here, I would say start with the Flash update, then apply the Office update, and then the remaining two Edge and LSAS. The LSAS problem is probably the lowest priority here, because first of all, it's only a denial of service vulnerability. And secondly, LSAS shouldn't really be reachable from outside your network. Anyway, and one of our readers, Bjorn, noted that we do have a significant increase in traffic to port 37,777. Now, uh, when you set up a little TCP listener on that port, you'll see incoming requests where the first 32 bytes uh, look sort of like a preamble, like a header, but really the only recognizable word here is config, followed by some JSON encoded data that that it does look like some kind of firewall NAT configuration where you map certain external ports to be forwarded to internal systems. Now, port 37,777 is used by a lot of these uh, CCTV DVRs for uh, video streaming, so it's possibly related. UPnP, the protocol that's often used to define this kind of mapping, typically uses SOAP encoded messages, not JSON. Also, this port, of course, if the DVR is listening on it, well, the DVR doesn't really do the port forwarding. It would be the firewall. So not really clear what's going on here, if this is really just a mistake where someone is playing or where someone's sort of discovered a newer version of UPnP that actually does use JSON. And uh, that's actually something that's uh, in development, UPN 2.0, so possibly something related to this. If anybody has an insight, uh, take a look at the traffic and let us know if you can tell us what's the exact protocol that's being exploited here, if that exploit actually exists and works. 
And going back to Microsoft patches for a moment, two of the November patches, CV 2016, 7200 and 7201, which are affecting Microsoft Edge, are actually already being exploited by an exploit kit. It was observed in the Sundown exploit kit. The exploit used in this case appears to be derived from a proof of concept exploit that was released shortly after the patch came out. And well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.